make surgery better. Um, we hear about minimally invasive techniques. So if you think about how gallbladders used to be treated, it used to be a, an incision like this long. They would take out the gallbladder. It would be just tremendously painful. But then the laparoscopic techniques came into play. Um, a long time ago when they used to do uh, knee surgery for a torn cartilage, it used to be a big incision. Um, and now it's just done through a little, little incision in the knee. You can even tell that, uh, that you get it. But what do we actually do when we do surgery? For spinal stenosis, the traditional surgery is called a laminectomy. And it's called a laminectomy because the roof of the spine is called a lamina. And so the removal of the roof of the spine to enlarge the canal is called a laminectomy. To remove a disc is called a discectomy. And both procedures, when performed open, require that you strip the muscles off of the spine, um, remove the roof of the spine, and some of the joint. That gives you access to the spine, and you can treat whatever you either remove the disc, or if it's stenosis, then you're done. But we just talked about that most people get better with conservative treatment, like physical therapy, and strengthening those muscles. So does it make much sense to, to go in there and completely destroy the muscles that you just spent months trying to build? Because when I strip the muscles off of the spine, I rob them of their blood supply, so I devascularize them, and I rob them of their nerve supply. I denervate them. So what happens? The muscles die. So those muscles that you just spent 12 weeks or 8 weeks trying to make strong, I destroy in the matter of a minute. So that, and then I shave down the joints to make the spinal canal wider, but now I've robbed the joints of the support of the ligaments and the muscles to support them. So guess what? You get back pain because those joints are under stress. So that's why there's been an evolution to try to make things more minimally invasive.